glory be to our grand Soviet Republic. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Workers and resources. We've got a lot of progress done on this train track. Big, long train track. Yeah, we have two. Yeah, kind of. We're getting there, right? I decided to start the other track, too. We've been doing some pretty good things. It's July 1967. Uh, I've done a couple of things. It's it, The big focus for today is going to be helicopters, all right? We're going to do helicopters today. I promise, I guarantee it, it's going to happen. And I think it's going to work out grand. I got a couple of cool ideas. I think it'll work. Quick update. This is all fully set up and ready to rock. It's, it's pumping in. We got asphalt set up here. It's all looking good. Everything's pretty. And actually, I'm going to probably make an adjustment to this. Because I'm going to use this asphalt for something else. Because it's closer to where I'm going to set up my helicopters. And you know what? Like, a lot of this stuff is closer to where I'm going to set up my helicopters. So I might do some stuff here with the helicopters. We'll see. But uh, the original plan for the helicopters was to have it to be over here. So we're going to look at that, especially for concrete. Uh, what else did I do? I set up uh, this over here. Notice this. Lots and lots of this happening. Right over here near our border, just perspective. Here's our town, right? There's the border we've been exporting to the whole time. It's over here. It's just more oil, okay? It's just more oil. And really, all of these are just queued up to be constructed. And the, the pipelines, the underground pipes for this alone are 1 million rubles. So I'm going to build as much of it as I can with our own resources. Yeah, as much as I can. But uh, it's, it's what it is. It's fine. Let's leave Charlabinsk alone for a second we're gonna come all the way over here and uh i'm actually gonna i don't know how to pronounce this but i want to name some of these things right you guys keep giving me names i want to use them i don't quite know how to pronounce this one but i think i get close it's cruff Kalosh. did i say it right i don't know we're gonna find out we're gonna rename this place after uh your idea i forget who it, who it was but somebody had this uh croft Kulosh. Kulosh. I don't know. It's probably hard to say, but uh, there you go. And I think that's actually supposed to be a lowercase k. There we go. That's Cruff Kalosh. There. We did it. Okay. You happy? Good. We're building additional housing here. It looks like this one's already done, and we've got a whole bunch of expert workers plopped into here. Looks like it's done. I already knew this was done. I filled it. This one is work getting worked on, though. So we're having extra housing here. And I added another school over here because the schools were filling up. So hopefully that helps that out a little bit more. Now, Let's take a look at what we're going to do over here. I've added a construction office right here. Okay. Now, I've wanted to add a construction office over here, and I still do have one pending so that we can have a lot of this stuff being built with a local construction office and stuff and the roads and all that stuff. But uh, it's this, 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 this dang 3,000-meter uh, limit thing, right? And uh, so I've got one in the middle here where this one can hopefully manage some stuff around here. It's got a bunch of vehicles, room for two more if we need to, but it's also referencing storage that's all the way over here. And it's trying to get workers over in this bus stop, okay? Now, it means I need to get workers over to this bus stop more often, so we'll see how that goes. Well, that's another problem for another day. We've got this little bit of asphalt here done. I've expanded asphalt all the way to here. Got to get this done. And while I'm working on these roads, I've got a mud road running right alongside this as sort of an alternative, right? Because once you shut down the roads, like nothing can get through. So uh, you can see how this one, I keep moving where this is pointing out or where this is merging in at. But uh, if I was to upgrade this right now, I need an alternative route for any other vehicles. So it goes all the way over here and it merges up with it right here, which is where we already have it asphalt. And then... We're going to build this. Now, this road never existed before, so I don't mind blocking it. But uh, this road was $90,000. Sorry, 90,000 rubles to construct. <laughs> Brand new. And now that it has a little bit of progress on it, it's 73.8, but still very expensive. So we're trying to get resources over here as much as possible. Let's go ahead and visit Steel City here. And uh, it's not actually called Steel City. I get something kind of close to Steel City. So it's... it's uh, it's actually a translated to City of Steel. Which is pronounced, I believe, Gorad Stali. Uh, or Gorad Stali, something like that. In any case, it means City of Steel uh, in Russian, and uh, that's where it's going to be. So, there you go. I, it's close as I could do to Steel. I didn't want to leave Steel City. That's just... It's not very Soviet. <laughs> so, now it's City of Steel. 
And that's where this is going to be, right? So how are we going to construct all this? Helicopters! You bet your ass. We're going to do that right over here. And I think the helicopter construction office... 3,000 meters, man. It's really not a lot of space. I think I'm going to try to get it to be here. But I'm, wor I'm really worried that it's not close enough. We'll see how it goes. Helicopter construction office. We're going to build this. And I guess to do that, I need to get rid of this road, don't I? So um, maybe I'll pay for a small stretch of this to be asphalt just to do it. I probably will. But helicopter construction office. We're doing it, guys. It's happening. It's happening. It's working. It's working. Right here. And uh, we're going to meet this up. Now, for this... I think I'm just going to buy it. It's $42,000, but I think I'm just going to buy it, get it over with, because uh, I don't think I can prioritize the construction. And honestly, I want to get it done now. So, because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm impatient, but I'm going to spend dollars on it. I'm going to spend dollars on it because I got more plans for rubles, right? So, hook up this road here and then hook up this road all the way over to here. So, I have an alternative route for the asphalt roads. Okay. So the helicopter construction office, it acts just like the other construction office, except now it uses helicopters to do the things it needs to do instead of other vehicles. It will use some vehicles, okay? We will have some vehicles that we're gonna transport, but the primary thing about this is helicopters. So let's take a look at those. We're gonna purchase a vehicle, and because it's after 1964, which is what I was kind of waiting for to do this, I'm, obviously I'm way past that now, but we get access to the MI-10 Cargo. It's a very expensive helicopter. We're gonna buy it. It's ours now, yay! Oh, look at that thing. Let's look at the model, come on. Look at it, mm -hmm. get out of my way. Oh, look at this. Doesn't that look awesome? Hold on, we can do better than this. There we go. Yeah, look at that thing. Oh, they did some work on this, didn't they? Oh, I get the UI out of the way. Yeah, oh, we gotta watch this thing fly, man. -hoo -hoo -hoo. So this is the cargo version. It's gonna haul, as you guessed it, uh, cargo. Now, these are, there's another op there's another option, another helicopter we're gonna buy. Uh, and I think, hang on, no, let's. Uh, yeah, there's another helicopter we're gonna buy, and this one I think we're gonna use the Mi six. I think I was thinking about the eight, um, but this one it hauls. It, uh, why? The, wow, the difference in engine power is ridiculous here. Fire bucket water capacity 4742 versus... Yeah, this can haul more. It can haul more passengers. It's a more powerful helicopter. It's overall just better. We're going to use this. Now, this is a passenger helicopter, but it can still haul cargo. It does it so, it does so in like a, a bucket, right? So it holds the bucket underneath it. Uh, just like a fire helicopter would do to put out fires. Speaking of which, fire helicopters. <laughs> what did you think I forgot? Did not forget. No, I did not. We need fire department for all of these because if anything burns down, as one already has, this one did, it burnt down. I had to rebuild it. It's not that big of a deal, honestly. Uh, it's certainly better than having to like facilitate people living here and bus travel to the fire department and all these types of things, right? But in here, where there are people already at, fire helicopters. <laughs> We're going to have fire helicopters. That's going to happen. And that'll, that'll help us uh, put out fires all over the place over here. Uh, probably do another fire helicopter over here and get all these covered. And then I can cover all of these without having to have people, like, you know, located locally. I don't like that. I don't want to have them locally located. Ah, you got it. Okay. So how does this thing work? Well, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need um, access to materials. Just like this one, we need access to materials. The difference, though, is that since we're not on the road with our helicopters, we need to be able to land a helicopter for the resources. So we need to connect up as many of these as we can. And um, I'm not going to do workers just yet, but I want to focus on gravel, asphalt, concrete, steel bricks, prefab panels, boards, and mech components. Now, the components thing, probably not possible. So what we'll probably end up doing is having some sort of local resource, like a little uh, storage shed. I'll manually purchase them for now, and then the trucks can take care of it locally. 
because I purchased it. Because we're not making these anyway. Primarily, I want to I want to hook up the stuff that we're manually making. And so we have this storage, which has a lot of stuff in it. We have uh, this over here, which is going to be our bricks. So we want to connect the bricks if we can. And then we have the two resources that are kind of problem childs, children, right? Problem children resources, I'm going to call them. And the problem children resources are concrete because you got to use it right away when you make it, right? And of course, asphalt. Both of these are problem children. So we want to hook these up to helicopters as well. And that's a little difficult to do because these are storage, right? We can hook up storage with factory connections, no problem. These ones don't have factory connections. So we need to hook the heliports up to these directly right next to them so that they are connected here and they can be delivered here immediately. So let's focus on concrete first because I think this is probably going to be the most challenging one. You see, I have a lot of roads here, right? I could probably get rid of some of these roads if I need to. And uh, I probably need to. So I kind of want to just make a really quick modification to the road system here to make it more likely that I can do this. So, and I'm going to pay for rubles on all of this stuff because I want it done immediately to test it out. So first, let's pause. This is so no vehicles get on here and I don't have to like wait for them. I'm going to take out this road. This road right here. To be careful not to delete the conveyor belt. Take out this road really quick. Oh, now this is a problem because this road actually cannot go. Mm, yeah, this road's a little bit of a already a problem as well. Um, let's, let's see if we can make this happen. Yes, we're going to pay for this. So we're going to take and bring the road. Oh, you're not. You're going to. Yeah, you're not going to do that. Well, actually, I have this road here, too. So maybe I can get away with this. Right, let's let's try this. Asphalt to. Mm, okay. One, one moment, please. Okay. Asphalt to directly here, right? Like, get right in there and then to here. Now, that takes care of that. We didn't have this one before. I want this straight. We didn't have this row before when I was originally laying this. So that works out pretty well. And then I can just go like that. That's a, that's going to give us a little bit more room to work with here. And I like that. So let's just pay for that with, uh, with rubles, right? We're just going to take care of it right now. That's all hooked up. Okay. Next thing, uh, let's let's redo the footpaths too. I don't want to disconnect these. And then also, I thought the footpaths went from this side. I thought they did, but now I'm, I'm second guessing that now. I don't, I don't actually think they did anymore. We can go this way with it and then around to like this. I thought I could. Can I, can I do that? Why not? Why not? <laughs> it's like right there, man. That's a bit strange, but okay. At least there's a footpath there. I'm all right with it. Helipads. Helipads. I'm hoping there's enough room here. It may not work. I may need to readjust this. We'll see how it goes. Um, this is pretty expensive, so I'd really like to not uh, demolish it. But if I have to, then I have to. Helipads. So this little heliport, called port, I guess. If I get it close enough... It's going to highlight the concrete building, and it's just not quite working. No! Oh, this stupid thing. I think the thing is in the way, guys. I think the thing is in the way. The thing is in the way. Yup. It's gone. All right, so heliport. See how it highlights it green? That's what we want. So I need to get this as close as I possibly can uh, but without like interfere, I want—I don't want to interfere with this cargo, right, or this uh, this uh, conveyor. So I'm gonna have to redo the conveyor too. But if I can just get this, I think maybe right here would work. Let's turn off this for a second, and I want to get in right about right about there. I think that's connected. I don't know. It was green when I clicked, but I don't know. That was really close. I'm going to replace that just to be sure. I, were, I just want to be sure before I pay for it. And it's going to go like this. Okay, that's green. You can see it. That is absolutely green. Okay. It's green. It's green when I click. Okay, it's green. Now, what we want to do is get this conveyor back. 
So hopefully this just hooks right up. That's not the right one. This. Hopefully this hooks right up. Ugh. Ugh. No. 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 Be nice. Be nice. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Something about going this direction works. Sweet. All right. So let's just uh, fund it. Fund it. You guys like my yay? Yay! Go here and heliport. Now, if this is hooked up correctly, yes, they both highlight at the same time, which means this heliport now directly services concrete. If a helicopter lands here, they can get concrete. Beautiful. Done. All right. Now, asphalt. You're a tricky little bitch, aren't you, asphalt? Yes, you are. There's a lot of things in here. I've also added this monument, you know, for culture's sake. And honestly, I'm kind of thinking because we're making asphalt over here, it's a lot easier to do it over here, right? And it's also a little closer to the construction office. So I'm just going to do it over here. I was going to do it over there, but because I, I, I know I can do it over here. I just got to delete the paths and like there's totally enough space right here. If I delete this substation, move it over here and then delete this and maybe just shift that over here too, I guess. I don't know. Um, I could totally fit that heliport here. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely enough room. However, um, there's way more room over here. So let's try this. We're going to delete this road. I worked so hard on this road too. Oh, all these things I worked so hard on. Um, uh, deleted the power. Crap. It's okay. It'll be worth it. So same thing with asphalt. We want to get it right up next to it. There we go. Right like that. Right up next to it. And... Yep, right there. Let's get right in here. Good to go. That heliport will now service asphalt. Okay? We're going to go ahead and build that with rubles and get it done. Now, I need to hook up this road again. Again, I'm just going to pay for this. This is the reason why I've got all these rubles is to spend them, right? Money is useless unless you spend it. And that's my justification for it. Uh, we're going to go this way. And then I just got to go around and connect it like that. That's fine. And then uh, this can go here. This can go, of course, the power pole is right there. Obviously, why wouldn't it be? And go. With rubles. It is built. Okay. Now, these power poles need to be reconnected. Um, goes to that substation. There we go. And I think that takes care of the asphalt. Yes, it does. Takes care of the gravel. Very good. Let's double check. Hold on. Hover. Yep. They both highlight at the same time. Beautiful. All right. Coming on over here. We're going to have the heliport. It's going to... We're going to specify uh, asphalt here. We're going to specify concrete here. Very good. Okay. Those two resources were the hardest ones, in my opinion. So we've got those done. Now we want to get gravel hooked up. We want to get steel, bricks, prefab, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, let's take a look at prefab. I think this will probably be pretty easy. All we're going to do is we're going to take and delete this. We're going to put in a conveyor connection right here. This is probably good. And then we're going to drop a hello, a hello cargo port. Hello cargo port. Yeah, hello cargo port. That's what I'm going to call it. We're going to. Uh, heliport cargo platform. That's what it's called. And we're going to drop that right here. Now, there's also some conveyor belt connections we could do to get gravel, which is interesting to me, actually. This is possible. Ooh, hey now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, this is very possible. It's going to be expensive, but I'm going to try it. Let's cancel this really quick. Can I hook up this one instead? Doesn't appear so, but if I use another engine, I might be able to. Now it's saying I can't even do this one. You so sucky. Seriously, I just deleted you. You can absolutely connect. I just removed you. Don't be that way, okay? Gosh, what a what a tool. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. Another conveyor belt is going to go right like... Ooh. My goodness, are you difficult. You are sassy. <laughs> okay, so clearly this bus stop is probably going to have to go. It's not in a good spot for this particular plan. We can easily move it here. It's not a big deal. Um, although I really like this location. kind of gets right in there, you know? Like right in there where I need it, though. 
Um, hmm. Okay, here's an idea. Why don't we take away this? Because maybe only... Maybe that's not necessary yet. And then what I'd like to do... Maybe if we place this first, it will work. Let's try it. We're not going to build it yet. We're just going to place it. We're going to have the cargo platform located here. And then we're going to do it in a way where hopefully we can connect that up. So let's have it be something like... Uh, yeah, something like right here is fine. Now, if I do that, can I get the conveyor to bring it all the way over here? Okay, I need clearly need something else to make this happen. So we'll get another engine, and I'm hoping that I can get that to connect over here. Hypothetically, if I do this, will it work? Will you connect here? Come on, man. Help me out. Seriously, you were already done. <laughs> like, seriously. Here, pull you away, okay? Tell me you can work here. Let's just get rid of this. We'll do the paths afterwards, I guess. Yeah, this is what I want right here. Just get right up in there, okay? Now, I want you to go like this. Yes, I saw it. I want it like that. And no, just a little bit, just a little bit. That. Now, if I do this, can I get it to here? Oh, you suck so bad, man. That was, this is perfect. I want an engine. Can I do the engine instead? Will you work here? Tell me you'll connect. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Although I have to do it on this side, though, right? With the road connection being the way this is. Oh, never mind. Hey, I'll take what I can get here. Yep. I mean, the road connection thing is a little bit of a concern, to be honest, because I can't really get to it for, like, fires and stuff. But, hey, if this thing catches fire, I'll rebuild it. It's just an engine. Whatever. Build it with rubles. Let's get this thing hooked up, hooked back up. Um, rubles for this. Let's do rubles for that. Rubles for this. Rubles for all the things. Build it all up. Yep, build it all up. Helicopter platform, you too. Yep, all this stuff, just build it. I just wanna see it. I built that one with dollars, but whatever. Okay, so now gravel is gonna go this way. It's gonna go into here to help make the rails, but then it's also gonna go here and it's gonna dump itself right here. We can get gravel now, direct, perfect. We can also get the prefab panels here because it's hooked up to this. So the forklifts can go ahead and do that for us. Very nice. And anything that's basically in here can be hooked up. So I'm going to try and see about having a steady supply of like steel and all that kind of stuff delivered here. It's the same thing that this is going to use. So theoretically, all the same materials that this has access to, this one does too. So what I want to do is come all the way over here and let's make sure this can work. Because if it can't work, then all that money was for nothing. But that's why we have lots of money. Uh, here we go. And we're gonna come all the way over here. Tell me you will work. Yes, you will, very good. So this is gonna get us what? Gravel, okay. Can we get steel from this too? Requires a connection to another building where the required resources are stored. Okay, it has that. It, it does have that. What about prefabs? Interesting. So you're not gonna let me, huh? So I have to be hooked up directly to the storage then? direct to storage oh that's a problem that is a bit of an issue isn't it you have to be direct connection see part of me wants to destroy this because it's not worth it and part of me says well you've already built it you don't get your money back so just keep it and I think I'm going to listen to that voice for now but like getting steel and stuff direct that's a now this just became the new challenge um well we've got boards and stuff here we've got steel here but i can't connect this unless i get rid of this Ooh, hang on now i i have an idea i don't know if this will work but it's an idea and we can try it let's get this cargo heliport popped in right here 
And what I'm hoping to see here is a connection with that. Kind of like this. Mm. My concern here is that that won't connect. Like that's not gonna that's not gonna line up to where I want it. Um, I'm still gonna try it though. Get rid of the walking path. I can always put it back in on this side. It's not that big of a difference in in uh, spacing actually. I'm not even entirely sure anybody uses that. Why would anybody go this way? There's nothing working here. You're not gonna walk this way. You're gonna come from the bus stop. There's no point to that walking, to that uh, walking path. So can I get you? If I put you right here, will you connect? Let's not build this right now. Will you connect with this one too? Oh, so close, man. Is it just because of the asphalt road? Because I can fix that. <laughs> tell me you'll just do this. Yep. And then tell me after that that you'll do this. There is no reason why that doesn't work. Hang on. Look at this. Quit being sassy. <laughs> Seriously. Leave me alone. Just stop picking on me, okay? Quit it. Build all this. And make sure this is built. And I want to test it and see if you are connected to the right source now. You are. Good. You have stuff available in storage. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. So now I'm going to come over here, helicopters, and specify. Now you have access to all those things. Beautiful. Oh, it's so good. Okay. So that's it. Helicopter construction office, man. It's kind of done. It has all that stuff. It just doesn't have the workers, but I, could, I at least have enough to test it out. So what I'm going to do real quick is we're going to take and just real fast here, I'm going to upgrade this road just to connect it all up. That was more than I wanted to pay. Hang on. That's not what I want to do. Stop it. Stop it. Um, well, that's it's work. It's doing its thing. It's doing what I told it to do, but it's that's not what I wanted to tell it to do. It's like I sent a message and you translated it horribly. Okay, hold on, try this. Yep, mm hmm And we go like this now. Curve it. Don't curve it. Curve it, don't curve it. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll go like this. Come on. Really? There. Yep. Okay, that's back. Fine, whatever, cool. So, um, let's see about maybe getting a little bit of fuel for now. We're just gonna buy the fuel. And because I'm already exporting fuel, it's fine. We'll do an auto purchase for nine tons of fuel real quick. So these helicopters can just get fuel, I guess. Okay. So the next thing then is to assign a construction project, probably. I want you to look a lot more. All right. I want you to look a much bigger distance. Okay. And you can get to where? Tell me you can get over here. Okay. You can. You can see all these things. Oh, good. That's what I wanted to see. But you cannot, however, see all of these things. Boo. Uh, it's okay. By the time we have all this set up, I think I can just do this with rail. But a lot of what these helicopters are going to do, they're in the air. They're in the air. Hang on. Got to follow one. Oh, yes. Helicopters, baby. You knew this was happening. I told you. I told you we were going to do it. This is proud Russian ingenuity right here at its finest. Oh, yeah. Helicopters. They're flying awful close to each other. I feel like this is danger close. Abort, abort, abort. Ah! Probably should not be phasing through you. Probably shouldn't be phasing, but... Hey, look, now you're like a super chopper. <laughs> All right, so this one's going to land and go get resources over there. Now, there's one resource I don't think we have. I'm going to double check this really quick. And um, from the helicopter uh, construction office, I think there's one thing I don't have, and that's bricks. It says it's going to use this for bricks, but I would like it to use 
the actual brick storage for bricks because this is where we're making them. That's what I would like it to do. Um, so if I was to add another heliport uh, cargo platform right over here, and um, again, I'm gonna have to do this without paying rubles for it. But if I was if I was to do this, could I feasibly? If I was to real quickly get rid of, I think I have to get rid of the power lines for this, but we'll see. Yeah, so the power lines are gonna be in our way, just for a little bit. And if I was to connect you up directly like this, no, you don't want to do it. How about you? No. Oh, that's unfortunate. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this nonsense. What are you doing? Huh? Huh? Playing pranks on me? Huh? Is that what you're doing? If I just do it this way, that doesn't connect directly. I need to connect directly, right? So, I guess we get rid of this and we try to place it again. So, we're going to go like this. Cargo and... And this is just to ensure that it always has the supply of the of the resource. We don't have... Yeah, we're just going to go like this with it. And then uh, we'll take and build the road into like this. It can be gravel. It's fine. Build it. And build it. I did dollars. That's fine. We'll do, we'll do dollars for both of us. This is fine. Um, and then for the power lines, I don't think power lines can go over top of a heliport. That wouldn't make any sense. So we're going to go ahead and reroute this around it. I Realistically, you would not want power lines this close to it ever. I wouldn't think. But we're doing it anyway. We're going to get really close this way and go right up in there. And then from there, I think we'll probably we need to cut out this way and then back in. Or we could cross and just hook up to here. I think I like that better. Yep. It looks messy. But in a way, it also looks cleaner. Doesn't it? In a way. If you just don't pay attention to it. Just try not to think about it too much. And you'll realize that it's a lot cleaner, actually. There. Now we can make sure that helicopters get the bricks from the source in which we're making the bricks by bringing this helicopter construction office, which is badass. And we're gonna have you reroute and get bricks from here. And the only reason I'm doing that is just because the bricks are being made here. I don't have to rely on trucks to make sure that they're there, right? That's the only reason. So there we go. It's done. Now this doesn't have a power supply, which is a little ironic because I had to move power lines in order to place it. If that is, that's irony, right? I, I got that right. I'm pretty sure that's irony. Um, So we'll place... Uh, I don't know if I want to go this way with it. I think I want to go this way with it, to be to be honest. Because I'm going to have more buildings over here. So I guess I'm going to go like this with it. And now, uh, it actually looks a lot cleaner if I don't go the way I did before. So let's disconnect this. Yep, disconnect... Uh, ah, screw it. Go this way, and then duck in there okay and then this line is gonna go up straight forward into there okay good I think so let me just rock this all the way to there and build that too I don't even care I'm paying rubles today baby we're spending money I got 6.5 million man we're making so much this this train is hauling ass but honestly a lot of its power too it's a very passive thing, you know? We're able to do really good with power because we're using oil for power. We don't have to worry about coal at all, and I can focus all of my coal on steel, which I think is awesome. Now, we probably want to get passenger terminals because we don't have a way to actually transport workers, at least not yet. So, passenger helicopters. <laughs> Let's do this passenger heliport platform. And we're gonna get you, I think right in here, honestly, because, well, I want you working where the steel is. So I can get you to come off of work or, or I can get you to come off the helicopter right here. That feels pretty good, actually. Uh, maybe, yeah. I, I'm wondering about fueling it though. 
right? They ca helicopters refuel when they land. And if I'm delivering fuel to them, well, I think my, what I might do is hook up the other one with fuel. This is a very long flight, though. I don't know. It's not really that long, but the game interprets it as being that long. I think we'll put the passenger train passenger port here on this side for sure, because that way they can get directly to the steel. And I'm going to go probably here with it. We're going to build this with rubles too. All right, we'll go like that. And then uh, for the other one, because we need at least two, right? There's no point in getting passengers if you have nothing. You can't gotta drop, drop them off in the middle of the woods. <laughs> you can actually drop them off in the middle of the woods. That's kind of the point of the helicopter cargo, uh, helicopter construction office. It's to build things that you don't have a easy access to with roads. That's the reason why you have it. And um, to, in order to get workers there, you're going to pick them up from one of these bad boys and you're going to transport them to the construction site. In this case, though, I also want to set up a way for passengers to move between towns. And that's what this is for, too. So I think I can put it right here. I kind of like this location. It doesn't have a whole lot of ease of use for fuel, though. I mean, we have fuel going in this way, but um, I, I'm tempted to redirect some of the uh, fuel coming out of here and uh, try to get it to go somewhere else. Wait, wasn't I going to do that here? Did I ever... Uh oh, wait, wait, wait. Did I hook this up right? I thought I was going to do this differently. No, I hooked this up like that and then this like this. What were you going to do? Totally forget. Uh, what we could do with you is bring you over to a passenger train port. I mean, if I... Can I theoretically go underground here? I guess I could... I think I can do this as long as I go lower. Does it let me? Yeah, it lets me do this. Absolutely. So I can go all the way through here with the underground one. And I'll go this way with it. So that I can... Yep, I can do this to right here. I may not even need a pump. If I position it right here, I won't need a pump for this either, which is kind of cool. Um, so that's possible. Let's let's see if we can make that happen. A direct connection from this to this, and that will repower. That will um, refuel the helicopters. So we'll put the heliport passenger terminal with the pipe facing at least this way. And of course, we have uh, infrastructure in our way. It's those power lines, those pesky power lines. Always pesky power lines. It's going to the switch. So let's take out the power lines here. And we'll hook them back across the road, in this case. We'll go this way with it instead. At least I thought I was. Oh, wait, it's this. Yep, now we can. Um, yeah, we're auto building with rubles anyway. There we go. Okay. Passengers. And we want it to face this direction purely because the oil pipe is coming this direction. So we're going to go about here with it. That's a good spot. I like that. And uh, then we just bring that over here like this. We can even do this if we want to. And I think I do, actually. Yep, I'm going to do that. We're going to go like this. I'm just going to remake this road asphalt. I don't mind paying for it. I want things done now. I'm super greedy, okay? Crossing not allowed. I don't understand why. It's just... It's, it's, I'm befuddled, okay? I find myself to be utterly befuddled. You. Yes, you. Do not delete. Really? I'll wait. Yeah. You got, you're coming to... I don't see anybody using the walk, the walking path, okay? I'm pretty sure nobody's using this. Thank you. All right, and then we'll just reconnect this, and then we'll bring this across, all the way across, straight line to, let's go with, go there. And you're there, and you're there. Good? Good. And then the walking path was kind of useless anyway. I didn't need it. But you know what? I'll do it anyway. Just so they can get to the helipad, right? I want them to get to the chopper. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, in before somebody makes that reference. 
I was here first before you did it. Just, just so we're clear, right? Let it be known. I was here first. <laughs> so bus stop directly to passenger terminal. Love it. Last thing to do then is to buy a helicopter and set it up. So we're going to say we want one of these. We just need another. We need a regular old heliport. Just a, just a regular easy one. We're going to place it right over, I think, here. This is fine. Do you have power? Beautiful. Do you have power? No. Wow. Wow. Really? So you have power and you have power, but you don't have power. Okay. Uh, well, that's amusing. How? How did that happen? Are you cheap? Yeah, you're really cheap. Bye. It's cheaper for me to rebuild this in another location than it is to set up power for it. So I'm just going to do that. And we're going to set this up in a place where it has power. I guess that'll be here. I could, I think, it, yeah. Oh, look at this. Powered, 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 not powered. I did it again. Like five meters difference, guys. I swear. Go. Build it there instead. And this is just going to be used to purchase helicopters. So we're going to purchase a uh, 22 passengers, 47 passengers. The difference between these is insane. But the cost is very different here. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, let's go 22. I think we go 22. Yeah. Okay. This helicopter, what I want you to do is I want you to make a stop. You're going to go... Um, first, you're going to go over here to this station. And then you're going to come all the way over here to this station. Ready, set, go. And that's your route. So this is a passenger helicopter that's going to take people from one place to another, right? Simple. Very simple. Okay? That's all that thing's going to do. And then we have the cargo one, of course, that's taking things to other places as we need, right? So we can start building some of this stuff. I have no idea what order it's going to drop things in, but it's doing things, okay? It's, it's doing things. Speaking of doing things, what is taking so long with this train? I bet you we're out of steel or something, right? No, we have steel. We have prefabs. What's the deal? Where's the train? Why is it in here instead of doing what it needs to do? Oh, maybe the train is too far away. Maybe that track is too far away now. That, I knew that was going to happen. That's why I said I was going to relocate it over here. But, um, well, it may have happened a little bit prematurely. Because it looks like that is the end of its line. That's as far as it can go is right there. Damn. This is coming along quite nicely. I think we can probably wrap it up. Wow, it's still 64000 God dang it. <laughs> this, is, this is expensive. I've spent more than that today, though. Look at my money. We spent like a million bucks today. That's pretty bonkers. Wait, how did I spend that much money today? Did I accidentally click on pipes with build using rubles? I better not have. Oh no. Um, hang on. Oh, son of a bee. That's what happened. Oh no, <laughs> I built all these pipes. No, that's why. I really wish uh, they were left as plans, right? And then if you have this button clicked and you just you just enter into the menu for it, boom, it instantly it instantly builds them. And you don't even know it until it's too late. One million rubles. Oh On the plus side though, we have helicopters. That is a plus side. And this doesn't have fuel. Oh, yeah, that's true. It doesn't have fuel. Let's get fuel hooked up, and then we'll call it a day on this. That's what I did. That's what I did. Oh, no. <laughs> I went to this pipe to build this pipe, and I was going to build it with rubles. And the moment I clicked this, I, I bet if we go back in the video, I didn't notice it, but I bet if we go back in the video, it was the moment when I started playing around with this and testing to see if we could bring this around. I bet that is the moment when my money drained a million dollars. 
because that's the way it works, baby. All right, let's wrap this around. And if we could go just a little bit lower, just got to go underneath the infrastructure. There we go. And goes about like this. And then to there. It's the squiggly line, but you know what? It's underground. So we don't have to look at it. So it's going to be fine. So we will build this with our rubles. And that will provide fuel for the helicopters. A direct source of fuel for the helicopters. There we go. And then these guys can go over there and visit with their friends way the hell over there with helicopters. There we go. See? Oh, yeah. Fuel up. Ready to go. There you go. Now, I'm curious if the construction helicopters will land here to refuel as well. They're not meant for construction vehicles. Um, what I suspect they'll do is refuel at the construction office. Because there's a big old tank right there, I think. So, well, it's not that big. It's a very little tank, actually. But I suspect they'll do it here. And that's why this has fuel. I have it set to auto purchase to nine. Eventually, I'll truck stuff out here. But for workers, to gather the workers, I want you to gather the workers right here. So now, if you have workers to go get, you can land here to get the workers. And hey, maybe refuel while you're at it. Who knows? There it is. Okay. Helicopters are set up. This is fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. I blew my money on this over here. Might as well set it up and get it running, right? I don't have a need for it, though. That's too much oil. So, maybe we set up a second oil refinery. I don't know. Can never have too much fuel, right? Yeah, I could, I could use some more fuel. We're exporting it at a very fast pace. I think maybe another oil refinery could be a good idea. Possibly right here. Move this train office somewhere else. Maybe get this train to come all the way through here. And, uh, I don't know, meet up with this stuff. I have no idea. There's a lot of options. Actually, you know, this track is laid in right here. Maybe this train track goes and meets up with that one. Like, hmm, yeah, we could. Possible. Anyway, I have things flying in the air now. It makes me super excited. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm going to leave you with this awesome shot of a cargo helicopter getting stuff and bringing that stuff somewhere else and not hitting its blades on that cargo on that uh, conveyor belt. Yep, we're not going to hit the blades. There it goes. It's lovely, isn't it? I think they did a really good job on these models. I'm, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised at how it looks. It's pretty sweet. That's going to do it for me. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you. Like the video if you like helicopters. Dislike the video if you hate helicopters because you're weird. And I'll see you, uh, hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.